Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I want to explain the Sales by Customer report within QuickBooks Online. First, let me show you the report. To get there, you're going to go to Reports on the left-hand side of your screen, and then select Reports in the pop-out menu. I find the fastest way to do this is just to use the search in the upper right-hand corner. So I'm going to say, I want the Sales by Customer Summary. Let me go ahead and select this report, and I'll just expand it, and I'll say All Dates. My Sales by Customer Summary report, Run for All Dates, has all of these customers, including Ryan, who has a project under his name. So a customer and a sub-customer or a customer and a job. Let me go ahead and collapse that. If I wanted to, I can sort this report in ascending or descending order. I like descending because it tells me who are my top paying customers. What I really want you to know is that QuickBooks is going to provide you a total of the money you've collected based on your invoices and sales receipts, but it's not going to think about what you've sold to your client. So for example, if you have reimbursements, QuickBooks won't be excluding that from this report. Let's take a look at Spring Fair so that I can show you what happens behind the scenes. I'm going to click on the total amount of sales for Spring Fair. QuickBooks then brings up a list of my sales receipts. I can click on the sales receipt and it's going to show me everything that's on that sales receipt. So again, I want to emphasize QuickBooks is not going to look at this and distinguish what's reimbursable, what's not reimbursable. QuickBooks is just going to say, hey, here's your sales. But to make things interesting, it's only going to show you sales receipts and invoices. So let me put it to you in a different way. I'm going to go plus new. I'm going to make a deposit real quick. And so let's say the money comes from Spring Fair into the account of sales. And we'll make it um, $836 because it's 836 in the morning. I'm going to click on track returns for client. Um, track returns from customer. I'm going to put Spring Fair over here. So I'm, I'm going to put Spring Fair in every place I possibly can. It doesn't matter what the date is because I'm running this report based on all dates. So I'm going to do save and close. So let's go back and change this for all dates. So now I'm, I'm back to my sales by customer summary report. I've got it run for all dates. I've got the Spring Fair. If I click on the total dollars for the Spring Fair, it's only showing me my sales receipts. It's not showing that deposit I just made. Let me click on refresh just to be super duper sure. Nope, only the sales receipts. If I go to the magnifying glass and I look at my recent transactions, I definitely have the deposit for the spring fair. This is important because if you're looking at the sales by customer summary or the sales by customer detail, I want you to know what will and will not show up on this report. I hope this video has been helpful. If my team or I can help you in any way, please don't hesitate to let us know. We offer training, self-paced courses, bookkeeping, and YouTube videos by request. Thank you so much.